Hi and welcome to PowerEgg. I'm Nadim and for this video we will look at what if scenarios. We will try and find the best way of giving the user the experience of selecting a what if scenario and evaluating the resulting impact. For this we have set up a Contoso database on a local SQL server and have Power BI desktop installed and have modeled the data in the star schema. Let's have a look at how we can accomplish some great what if reporting. We will build this report. It is a um, report where we can select the what if number of stores increase for a specific country or for a number of selected countries. For example, if here we decide to, we want to increase the number of stores by one for all the countries that are selected, let's deselect online because it is not a country. Uh, we will be able to see what the total store sales was before the increase, what the numbers of stores are, what the average sales per store is, and based on the average sales, sales per store, we will calculate what will happen if we increase the store number by one, and uh, what the total amount of sales would be. And similar here for the bottom chart, uh, where we combine the total cost that uh, was before the what if scenario and the sales increase based on the what if selection. Let's have a closer look at this. For example, if I select Germany, France, and Italy, and I say I want to increase the store number by three, we'll be able to see that this would be the total sales amount if we increase the store number by three and this is the increase and this is the base amount. Let's have a look at what we need. These would be our calculated tables, the base table and the what if table. Then we have our measures, the what if measures. Then we have our visuals, the slicers, the matrix and finally the line and stack column chart. Okay, we are in Power BI, so let's get straight to it. Let's create a base table, a calculated table we need for our what if scenario. And I've prepared this already. This is a calculated table which uses the summarize columns function um, for the Contoso store country. So we want the average sales by country and the average sales is the sum of the total sales by the number of stores divided. And uh, then we have the store total sales, which is just the sum of the total cost. And then the number of stores, which counts the stores by the store code. Let's hit enter and have a look at what we have. Let's select all of the columns and we want the average. So we have the country, we have the number of stores, we have the average sales per store, and then we have the store total sales. What we need, what we need next is a what if table. So we simply want to allow the user to select a value from zero to 10 uh, in terms of number of stores. So that when he selects or she selects um, two, the number of store increase for the what if scenario would be two. So we have to create a little table. Let's go ahead and go to modeling, new table. And this would be the number of stores for the what if, and it's I'm simply generating a series uh, from one to 10 by steps of one. Let's hit enter. And this we can already put into the what a filter. So let's select the value. And this would be the store count increase. And we can select here uh, a value between zero and 10. All right, next we need our total sales. So let's go to the measures, create a new measure. And we have a calculate sum of the total sales. Next, we want to calculate our what if store sales increase. So let's go ahead and create a new measure again. And I've prepared this. This is a, um, a DAX code where we use the selected value of the filter here, and uh, the store count increase that we created earlier. And we multiply it by the average sales for the selected value of the country. 
Next, we want our total sales for the country, which includes the base sales plus the what if scenario. So again, let's create a new measure. And we paste this. This is um, again the deck statement, which simply has the value of, that we created before plus the total sales for the store. All right, so let's create our country slicer. We are done with our measures and our calculated table. So let's go to the what if table, add country to the slicer. So we have a country slicer where we can select either all or individual countries. So let's try this out and select Canada, Canada and France. Okay, perfect, it works. All right, the next step would be to check the measures we just created, the what if scenario measures. So let's um, check the store increase, what if, and the total sales, what if. And right now we have zero, so it would be increased by zero euros. And the total would also be the same as the base. That's good. Let's see what happens if we select three stores then the value would increase. Okay, perfect. So this is a nice dynamic what-if scenario. All right, so let's get to the chart. We have the chart selected, which is a line and stack column chart. And for this, we want on the x-axis the country that is selected. On the y-axis, let's add the total sales as a base then the total what if sales let's see we can find the value for end okay that's no problem uh, that's something i created before so let's get rid of this quickly and i will show why later all right <clears throat> now we can create a line so what we have to do is go to the line y-axis and have the stores, the total store sales. Sorry, we did an error. Let's put this here, take this away and add this increase to the total sales. All right, this looks decent. However, what we want to do is we want to align the both y-axis and the secondary y-axis um, with the same value ranges so that the total sales uh, for the what if scenario is on top and shows the value for both the total sales and the increase for the what if. So in order to align them, we have to tell Power BI um, what the maximum value for the Y axis should be. And since it automatically tries to adjust it dynamically, uh, we have to hard code this. So let's create a new measure. And we simply say that we take 10% on top of the total what if. All right, let's hit enter. Okay, now let's go back to the chart. Go to the y axis range. And say that the minimum should be zero that's fine but for the maximum we want the y-axis range let's select that okay that's fine now we have to do this this was for the secondary we have to do this for the standard one as well so let's go ahead and again select the y-axis range all right, that looks fine. Um, now we have a problem. We can see that the total sales for each country is the same. That's because we are missing the relationship between our what if table and our stores table. So let's go ahead and go to the what if and connect country with country. This is in the modeling view. And we go back and we can see that this is adjusted. So that's fine. Okay, so let's go back to the ranges and now adjust the minimum so that it lines up both the line chart and the bar chart. Again, we go secondary as well, zero. Okay, perfect. Now we have the totals completely aligned, the y-axis. And um, now let's go ahead and give this some formatting. 
I will skip this part. This is just the coloring. Okay, and you can color this however you want. Um, I decided to choose the same color for the total sales increase um, as the line so that it um, looks like it's, it's, uh, it, it goes together. All right, now let's go ahead and unselect online. So we don't have this as a store and check what we can do. Okay, we also need to uh, format the secondary y-axis. This is important, otherwise things don't look good. Let's go to the secondary y-axis. And for the values, we want millions, yes, that's fine. And let's do this also for the y-axis on values we go to display units and millions okay now everything aligns looks good and there we have a dynamic table where we can a dynamic report where we can uh, adjust our what if scenario what would happen if we have now five stores for each country that we selected and we can see what the outcome would be what the business impact would be and if we only want this for france canada and italy as seen before we have our values and our report looks great thank you very much for watching i hope this helped you and i also hope to see you in the next video